So, hello. It's me again. The guy with the 1984 Porsche 944 that he bought for cheap. My name is Porsche Guy. Uh, I'm making this video and I'm introducing myself because I just want to show everyone I'm a regular person. Uh, a guy that uh, loves these cars and doesn't have a whole lot of money to fix them, but uh, is uh, looking at fixing one up and taking care of one. I want to show how cheap and affordable it is really to do. Um, these cars, you know, are very special. They're very, very special vehicles. Um, they do take work to maintain and forethought in the process. You just can't get up and drive one and go and, and do like the other cars because they're interference engines, meaning if the timing belt goes on one, um, you're basically looking at another engine. Um, you other have you also have other major uh, responsibilities and costs. So a lot of things that have to be dismantled and taken apart. So it's not very cheap car, a very cheap car if uh, you are planning to have somebody else doing the repair for you if you don't have a lot of money uh, because uh, dropping a subframe, clutch jobs, things like that cost money. Um, but uh, I, I really just want to make this video in particular to explain that this is a great car. Um, it has adequate power. Chassis is really well built if you have it fixed up properly. <laughs> um, and uh, and just to and just to have people look more for these cars and actually restore them because so many of them have been beaten to shreds and and just just not taken care of. And uh, they are the, the the to me a jewel in the Porsche family because this is a car that you can work on. It's a front engine vehicle. It's not a 911 with everything's mounted in the rear. Everything's viewable and seeable and workable. And it the handling char characteristics are amazing. Um, you know, I, I've had about 15 cars, uh, most all of them basically imports. Uh, I currently own as my second car a Volvo S60R, uh, which is an automotive unicorn. It's not great, but it's special in a lot of ways. 300 horsepower, inline five with a uh, turbo that pushes bun from the factory almost 15 pounds of boost um so uh you know i know a little bit here or there about different vehicles and and while i've driven many things there's nothing that compares to the chassis on the 944 and that's why i've made my first initial trip there and i'm back here now and i'm doing this work myself because i want other people to also see um, that uh, this is a great option if you're looking to have some fun, if you're looking to have something different, distinct, um, very focused, uh, that this can be one of your options uh, in the list. So again, um, I'm not a mechanic. I'm an IT guy. Uh, I work for a bank in IT. Um, and I'll have a family. I have a daughter. And I have a wife. And I have to find time to, to work on this car. But it's not impossible. So just want to give you a brief, brief view of who I am in particular. Maybe that would encourage you to say maybe this is something that you can do also. Don't listen to all the people that say, oh, these cars are just terrible to work on and impossible. They are difficult. But if you drive one and if you like it, it's like a disease in your blood. Nothing else compares to it. You'll drive a lot of the cars and say, mm -mm, that does good, but not as well as what I know after driving one of these cars. So thanks and I'll keep posting and take care.